And in Boston, space savers have made their triumphant return to city streets, a beloved tradition, and the mayor says they can be used until this weekend. As the storm cleanup continues in South Boston, WBZ's Nick Giovanni takes a closer look. Boston's snow emergency and parking ban ended early this morning, but people still had to contend with snow-packed sidewalks and cars literally encased in snow. The streets of Southie the morning after the first significant snowstorm of the season. It's, it's kind of firmed up a bit, so it's a little heavy. I probably should have gotten started on this uh, yesterday. Snow firmed up by a deep freeze overnight left drivers with their work cut out for them. How's this look? Am I doing a good job? It's scraping and shoveling their way to leaving their parking spaces in the rear view. Something to marvel at for the first part of winter. It's a little bit early, but... Uh, but yeah, it's a sign of uh, winners here. Others held on to their spots using items like suitcases and chairs for space savers, which according to Mayor Walsh are valid for two days, but will then be thrown out with the trash. Neighbors are great too. Everyone was shoveling everybody's uh, walk walkway out, which was nice to see. Um, nobody seemed left alone, which was good. Some not only shook off the foot of snow, but embraced it for adding some sense of normalcy to 2020. No big deal. Expected it's December. So here we go. Huh? Life is normal in a way. The property owners had until 10 a.m. to clear off sidewalks and ramps around them while Boston Public Schools reopened to students currently learning in person. Reporting in South Boston, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.